In this video, we are going to show you how to use text animation, smart shapes, and buttons in your interactive lecture. Munira tells you how. So in our previous session, we created our title slide as it shows here. And now I want to create a second slide with information about the presenter and place a start button. So on my quick access toolbar, I will click on slides and select a blank slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to place Dr. Ken's profile picture. So let's go to media and select image. I will select the image from the right location in my library and then select open. Let's resize Dr. Ken's picture uniformly by press and hold the shift button on my keyboard and dragging one of the corners. I will place the picture to the right of the slide. Now I want to add Professor Ken's credentials, but let's make it fun here. So this time I will not use a text caption. On your quick access toolbar, select smart shapes and I will choose this rounded square one. By double clicking on the center of the smart shape, I can start typing text on it. Now from the properties panel, I will name this smart shape and I can change the color of the fill and the stroke. In this case, I'm selecting this color right here. I want to increase the size of Professor Ken's name in the smart shape. All I have to do is to select that line of text, go to the properties panel and change the size and make the text bold. Let's give this light some life. So let's say I want to use some text animation. To do that, from my quick access toolbar, I come back to the text and select text animation. The difference with text animation is that you must enter your text in this window before seeing it in the slide. So I will type welcome from here. I will change the size to 48 and the color to blue. By default, the last animation selected will apply as you can see in the properties panel. Once applied, you can now change to a different animation of your choice. So you see you have several options here. Lastly, let's add a start button. Buttons are interactive tools. So from the quick access toolbar, select button. I will reposition the button on the slide. And from the Properties panel, name it Start Button. This one is a text button and its caption can be modified. So I will change the caption to Start. Buttons can also display an image. From the Properties panel, I will select an image button instead. And once again, here are several options to pick from. Captivate includes button templates, as you can see. In a future video, I will show you how to create your own fully customized buttons. I will resize the button and position it where I want it in the slide. Let's preview our progress. So from the quick access toolbar, select preview project and click on the play button. Today we learn how to add a new blank slide, add text using smart shapes, add text animation and add a start button. In the next video, we will show you the importance of the timeline in Captivate. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.